Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today for yet another modification video on the M140i. Uh, hasn't featured on the channel in a little while actually, but yeah, still going strong, still absolutely loving it. Uh, to be honest, I mean, as you guys know, we've done so much to this car. There really isn't that much more that we can do. So I'm kind of just in the stage of just enjoying it, which is kind of, for me, what this thing is all about now. But yeah, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is we're doing yet purely because this is without a doubt the most highly requested modification ever in the history of this car um no i'm not getting the car unwrapped because i, I well i know that a lot of people do want that <laughs> they've wanted that since i did actually end up getting this thing wrapped um, but it is something with this car that to this day i'd say weekly i get about three to five messages about it finally we're getting that done today, but I'm not exactly gonna tell you uh, what it is just yet. And so without further hesitation, we're gonna fast forward in time and I will catch up with you at my destination. Okay, final destination has been reached. We have arrived. I'm here with Kyle from Define Coding. Mate, how are you? Not too bad, thanks. It's how are you? Been a while. I'm good, I'm good. It's been an awfully long time. Very, very long um, time. Since you've been on the channel, since we've done some bits together. But I think now that I've introduced you, it's probably pretty obvious what we're doing today. Um, we have all the parts uh, actually on the bonnet of the car. We are finally doing the Pro Nav retrofit yep. on this car. So um, it's actually quite a, a, an interesting kind of modification, really, because it's not just a screen. No, it's by not. By any means. No. Um, so you're obviously the master of doing this. I you've am. done thousands of them, I imagine. Tons and tons. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you wouldn't mind kind of talking us through kind of yeah. what we're looking at basically uh, here. So this is the kit you'd get out of a car that has professional navigation option. These yep. are all OEM parts. And um, what we do basically is we take the existing kit out we change the wiring inside um, we pre-code the head unit so it comes with your VIN it's okay. all OEM we provision yeah. car play to it or awesome. plug and play all done you get all your services you transferred across and yeah your car is actually updated on the BMW server to no have way. the retrofitted option for 609 which is the professional navigation Blimey. option. so it's literally not just a bigger screen no it, it, it's it's much more than that because yes. obviously you have to uh, update the head unit for obviously so it can be compatible right. I don't know if I've spoken about this before but I actually mm. bought this car thinking that it had the pro nav yes I and then when I picked it up, I was like, ah, <laughs> that's not pro The screen is very small. Yeah, absolutely. And it has been bugging me, to be honest. Yeah, it's definitely something which is going to make a huge difference to the car. Um, but the car itself, you haven't seen in a while, have you? I haven't. Last time I saw it, it had stock wheels. Yeah. It just flashed a gearbox. <laughs> yeah. And it didn't have this bright, colourful, lovely wrap No, definitely. It, it definitely so. wasn't running this kind of power either. Because uh, obviously, I don't know if you guys remember, we did uh, XH Pizza Stage yes. 3 with Kyle, which made a huge difference to oh, this car. Game changer. Um, massive difference. There was actually some issues when I mapped the car without mapping the gearbox. Yes. Um, and then you kind of let me know that you need to do it when you map the car. So that is an essential thing to this car for anyone who's got one who wants to modify it. But um, how long's the process? A couple of hours, you reckon? About, about an hour or so, yeah. yeah. yeah? Okay. An, hour, an hour end to end. This thing is going to look so much better. Oh, and you've got a touchscreen, which is, I know Ooh. the fingerprints are going to drive you crazy, yeah. but with the Apple CarPlay and stuff, That's it's handy to have. I have to like, so, yeah. relearn how to, how to use this thing now. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's get cracking. Yeah, let's do it. Right, that looks better already. Yes, I mean, we're missing loads of parts. Missing it's all, everything. It's all gone. That actually happened quite quickly as well, isn't it? Yeah. I can tell you've done this a lot. The cars are quite modular, so to be fair, taking them yeah. apart is quite easy. So, That's yeah. true. So, I mean, quite a lot does have to come out. Yeah, so what we'll be doing is we'll be changing some wiring within the quad lock, yep. um, which will be changed to fit your, obviously, bigger head unit. Yeah. <clears throat> Going to be getting the upgraded controller, which fits into this part here. Absolutely. We'll rewire yeah. your USB connector so it works mm -hmm. with the new head unit because different voltage. Touchscreen goes in the big hole at the top. Yep. Coding done. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Quite simple. We're making good progress. But yeah, it's good that this panel here can still is still compatible with the, the, the ProNav as well. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. so. with my E92 M3, I'm looking into kind of LCI retrofitting it. Yeah. But I've actually got to change multiple parts within the interior. It's, it's good with the F-chassis cars, everything's modular, so all the parts fit within the same yeah, slots. Yeah, so absolutely, it's which, is, nice. which is all good. But yeah, cool. head unit came from behind there, actually, which was quite surprising. Yes. Um, which would make sense, actually, because they're the air vents. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think, what, so you've got to do a bit, bit, of, um, bit of wiring now and then. A little, little bit of wiring, back. yeah, changes some pins out of here, changes some wires in here, put it all in, code it, Brilliant. get your service history across on it, done. Lovely stuff. Yeah. 
So whilst Carl's working away on the wiring inside the car, I thought I'd just show you basically a before and after, because this is obviously the standard nav which was in the car. I don't know if you'll see very closely on camera, but you can actually see where the screen ends. So there's still quite a large border, basically. It's just a standard small screen. And then obviously the standard iDrive controller. Moving over to what we're going for, we've obviously got upgraded iDrive controller and a much bigger screen. Obviously there is protective plastic on the screen still at the moment, but still you can see just the size difference and actually just the difference of basically what we had in the car and versus what we are fitting today. It's gonna to make a huge difference to the interior of the car as I've mentioned so far. Um, but yeah, things are still going well in here. Everything's all stripped out, but I think before long, all of this will be popped back in the car and then we'll be able to see a finished result. Okay, so Kyle is now all done. Done some extra coding bits as well, but obviously the party piece for this is the new Pro Nav system. You can see we've uh, installed CarPlay on this as well. I still have the protective uh, screen on this, but you can see all nice and done, which is awesome. It is now touchscreen, like Carl said, but I think what I'm gonna do is take this off purely for satisfaction. There we go. Awesome. You can obviously scroll through it on here as well if you wanted. Um, and then we can go back to the main menu and scroll through like that. So cool. Okay, there we go. Another one to add to the list. Yeah. <laughs> Another one bites the dust, yeah, as they absolutely. say. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I can't wait to, to see what it's like, actually. I mean, even just looking at the car with the door open and stuff, it looks mm. a mile different, especially with the car play as oh, well. It massively transformed the interior. Like I always say, you know, if the budget permits it, Mm. Definitely do it. And as we were saying before, on the Facebook forums, it's always... Oh, it is always. That's the one before we have pro now. Yeah, yes absolutely, no? yeah. It literally. can be can be a game changer. And yeah. a bit of a deal breaker at times as well. Yeah, so, that's yeah. true. That is true. I mean, yeah, maybe I wouldn't have bought this car if I didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, we saw that, fine, that, that problem finally. Now, I haven't had CarPlay in a car, like I said to you, since my original Golf R. Yeah. So it's been a couple of years since I've uh, I've had it in a car, so that's all, all pretty good. But thank you again. My pleasure. Um, for, for doing your magic. Of course, you can find all of Carl's links down in the description. Yeah. Down below, but I'm sure you already know uh, about to find coding. But yeah, thank you very much, buddy. My Hopefully, pleasure. we'll see you soon. Definitely. Um, but yeah, any any coding bits, then thank you, Carla Shout. Yeah, happy to help. So there we go. Finally, I have the Pro Nav installed on this car. Definitely the most highly requested modification on this car. So hopefully, those of you who have been pestering me to get it done. Hopefully you're all happy now. Um, but like I said, a big thank you to Carl over at Define Coding for sorting everything out for me. Um, yeah, really looking forward to enjoying some more miles in this car because like I said at the beginning of this video, everything's pretty much done to this car. I'm now in the phase where I'm just enjoying it, which is great. Um, enjoying the miles, especially when the sun is out like it is today. Um, but like I mentioned, you can find all of Carl's details down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments another modification you want me to do. Uh, you never know, there might be a few more. Uh, see what the, the second most highly requested modification is. But like I said, for me today, that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.